Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I did it. I, I settled on a grimoire. Um, for now, I was gonna do my Practical Magic inspired one that I made. But as I was going to change out the paper on the inside covers, the whole thing just started falling apart. The glue is unsticking. The strips where you screw in the pages are coming loose. Uh, and I just don't have the want to, to to work on that and fix it right now. But my purple one was just a smidge, eh, about an inch, inch and a half too big um, for what I needed anymore. I took out a lot of information that was no longer relevant a little while back. And then it left a gap on the posts. And that was driving me crazy. I couldn't have that. So I'm going to hold on to this because, well... It can be, this is also falling apart, <laughs> um, but this can be fixed a lot easier than the, the Practical Magic one. And if I decide I do still need it bigger and I want to add more stuff, this way I'll still have it. But I initially took everything out and put it into separate books and then I just set them there and I just looked at them for a while. And I did not like the idea of having it into separate books. Um, the big book was out of the question because there was too much empty space. Practical Magic's falling apart, so I went with a 3-inch. It's the exact same kind of binder as this one, as this purple one. It's a spring post binder. Um, I love them because they look more, they lay more book-like, they look more book-like. Um, this one's a little, I put the fabric on a little tight, so it's a little springy still. Um, but I already love it, and it's not even done yet. Um, obviously, I covered it in black this time. I was able to get some ow, metal book corners. Um, I'm not going to do a full tour walkthrough. It's, it's got the same stuff as probably most of yours. It has, you know, I've got my front page. I've got a blank page, and I still haven't written out exactly what I believe and what my practice is. Um, pagan creation myth. I've got, you know, my correspondences for this, the Sabbaths and colors and direction, all that stuff. That's in here. The, the regular paper pages in the back, that's where I have spells and witchy tips written. I can still flip it around like the Practical Magic one, open up the back cover, and I have my black pages for my not-so-nice stuff. Cool. But I settled finally on something. Um, I made it this weekend. I didn't make it. I covered it this weekend. Um, and I used, and I'm going to try to, the, the paper on the inside covers has, I went with the bugs, moths, and frogs. I don't think that's going to work, but there it is. <laughs> um, I do. I like it. It's a like a micro suede fabric that I covered it with. I, if I find, this is all over the cover already, if I find the right thing, and I'll know it when I see it, I'll put something else on the cover. And I do still want to add some ribbons. And I'm going to go with black, forest green, navy blue, and purple. And I will put in ribbon bookmarks. Probably during the week or over the weekend. Um, but, guys... Oh, it's still heavy. It's done! Um, and my husband adjusted a book stand I have so that I can put this book on my book stand and, and, and stand it up. But we did, he measured it, the opening, before I put the fabric on, and apparently just that little bit of fabric made it so this does not fit in that book stand now. So he's going to figure out, adjust it. And then I'll show you, I'll attach a picture to a video, a future video where it's standing up in the book stand. Um, and the witchy room is rearranged. It is arranged. <laughs> I am still putting stuff away and putting things where they go. Um, I got better jar storage. Finally, somewhere for all the jars. Um, the, everything shifted. The altar used to be on the wall directly behind the camera. Now it's on this wall. You can see a little piece of it right here. Um, the TV used to be on this side. Now it's in front of the window. Because I can't see out that window anyway. So, and it, it's, I'm in the basement. It doesn't let in a whole lot of natural light either. So you can put the TV in front of it. 
So once I get everything put away and organized and the way I want it, I will do another small, not a full witchy room tour because I already have that video up on my channel. Um, I'll link it below along with um, my evolution of my grimoire video because now this is the next stage in that evolution. Um, and that's about it. It's, I've just been trying to organize this room, get it moved around the, so that it functions better, which now it will. And that's it. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I have fun here and I love having company while I do it. Have a great rest of your day or night, guys. Bye. Cheers.